Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. This will be a short lab focused on using Telnet to connect to Cisco devices. In a previous lab, we configured the console port and used that to connect to a router via PC. In this lab, we will use Telnet, which allows us to configure a Cisco device by connecting via a regular Ethernet port. Note that, although Telnet is something you should be familiar with, it is not something you will likely end up using due to a lack of security. This is because Telnet sends all data in plain text. If anyone intercepts that data, they can read it, including usernames and passwords and other sensitive data. Instead of Telnet, you will want to use SSH, which we will cover in another lab. But with that said, Telnet is still something you should know, so let's practice some of the basics in this lab. As always, try to complete the lab yourself first, then continue watching this video if you have trouble, or watch it after to check your solution. If you haven't learned the commands required to do these tasks yet in your studies, feel free to just watch the video to learn them. Step one is to configure the IP addresses on switch one and R1. We will then use these addresses to connect to the devices later in the lab. Let's go on switch one first. Enable conf t. We will configure the IP address on the VLAN one interface. Because a regular switch interface cannot be configured with an IP address, we have to configure the IP address we use to manage the device on a VLAN interface rather than on a physical interface. So, interface VLAN 1, IP address 192.168.1.2.255.255.255.0. Also, I'll use no shutdown to activate it. Now let's configure R1. Enable, conf t, interface g00, IP address 192.168.1.1.255.255.255.0. Remember, router interfaces are administratively down by default, so no shutdown. Okay, that's all for step one. Step two is to configure a single user on each device. Since we're on R1, let's do that first. Exit. Username Cisco, password CCNA. Note again that passwords are case sensitive, and in this case, CCNA is in all capitals. Now let's do the same on switch one. Exit, username Cisco, password CCNA. Step three is to configure the VTY lines on switch one and R1. VTY stands for Virtual Teletype, and when you create a Telnet connection to a Cisco device, you will be connecting to one of these VTY lines. There are typically 16, numbered 0 through 15, although in the running configuration they will typically be displayed as 0 through 4, then 5 through 15. Let's check on switch 1. Do show run. Scroll down to the bottom. There we go. Line VTY 04, meaning line 0 through 4, then line VTY 515, meaning lines 5 through 15. Although it is displayed like this in the configuration, we can simply use the command line VTY 015 to connect to all lines from 0 through 15. There we go. Now, we have two things to configure here according to the lab instructions. First, require the use of the local user database to connect to the VTY lines. This is the same command we used when configuring the console line in a previous lab. Login local. Since we only have one user in the local database, we will have to use the username Cisco and password CCNA when we try to telnet to this device later. The next requirement is to allow only telnet connections to the VTY lines. This is done with this command, transport input. Now I'll use the question mark to see what options there are. All, none, SSH, and Telnet. 
As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, typically you'll be using SSH, but let's set it to Telnet for this lab. Okay, now let's do the same configuration on R1. Line VTY 015, login local, transport input Telnet. Okay, now let's type do show run. Look at the bottom here. There it is, our configurations have been applied to all VTY lines. Step four is to attempt to Telnet to each device from PC1. On a simulator like Packet Tracer, you simply click on the icons of each device to configure them. In real situations, however, you have to connect to the devices from a computer via the console port, as we did in a previous lab, or by Telnet or SSH, as we're going to try now. I'll go on PC1. Let's try switch one. Telnet 192.168.1.2. We're asked for the username, which is Cisco, and our password, CCNA in all caps. There we go. Now we have access to the command line of switch one. I'll type exit, and now let's try R1. Telnet 192.168.1.1 Cisco CCNA There we go. Now we have access to the command line of R1. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, please consider contributing to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Jeremy's IT Lab. I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave Verified Publisher and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.